Hello everyone, you're watching Riddles for your channel! Are you ready for Detective Eric's Riddles? And also, there are marks hidden in the video, try to count them all! Eric was on a train and it was just about to enter a tunnel. Eric knows that this is the best time for a crime when it's dark inside the cars. He looked into the next coupe where four passengers were. Eric, we're about to enter a tunnel, please be vigilant and keep your personal belongings close to you. The train entered the tunnel and it got dark. As soon as the light gained purchase, Eric heard a scream. Vanessa, oh no! My brooch! My brooch is gone! Eric ran in the next coop and started investigating again. Amber I have been reading a book the whole time. Jim I was sleeping and woke up after I heard the screams. Lloyd It wasn't me, I swear. Who stole Vanessa's brooch? It was Amber. When Eric checked on them for the first time, the bookmark sticking out Amber's book was short. When he paid them a visit again, the bookmark was really long, which indicates that Amber holds the book upside down. Eric likes to spend his leisure time on the beach. And so this day he was sunbathing. The day's hot, so he decided to swim a little and left all his belongings on his mat. His bag was missing when he got back. Eric asked the neighboring guy if he saw where did it go. The neighbor. Sorry, but I have been sleeping here for several hours already. I didn't see anything. But Eric got the picture. What did he figure out? Before Eric left, the shovel was on the right side of the neighbor. After he got back, it was on the left side of the neighbor. It is very likely that he wasn't sleeping and took Eric's bag himself. Like the video if you really miss the summer already! Find the odd object. Try again. Find the odd object. Eric knew that Klaus would do anything to steal the key evidence to his case which Eric kept in his office. Officer Boyd called him suddenly and asked to get to a crime scene as soon as possible. Eric approached his assistant Julia and asked her not to let anyone inside his office until he returns. Julia seems to be tired but agreed to keep an eye out the office entrance. After Eric got back and entered the office, he immediately called Julia. Eric, who did enter my office? Julia, nobody did, sir. I was watching it closely. Eric, no need to lie to me, Julia. You took a nap, didn't you? Why did Eric think so? Because the globe was facing another direction. And how many mugs have you found in the video? Don't forget to let me know in the comments! Thumbs up! Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you won't miss our latest videos!